Hi, it's Annalise and Neil, and today we're gonna try Marmite. Marmite? <laughs> I think it's Marmite. Marmit? Varmit. Marmits. <laughs> Some of you may know, if you've been listening to the podcast, that we've been on this big BBC show kick for about, what, six months, seven months? Yeah, something like that, yeah. We've been killing it with the BBC shows. And one of the fun things we've been doing is when there's a food or something fun that we see, we like, oh, we should try that. So one of the things is Marmite, which seems to be in a lot of shows, and we thought we would try it. The other one is Penguin Bars. Uh, and we're gonna, well, obviously we'll have a video about that too. In fact, yeah. we'll probably release this video and the Penguin Bar video at the same time, yeah. just for fun. Mm -hmm. It's kind of funny too, because I ordered this off of Amazon. Mm -hmm. We didn't even bother looking at the store or anything right. for it because I just figured it's a foreign thing. Uh, and it was cheap on Amazon. We'll have a link below. But then I realized that our local grocery store sells it and like any sort of world market sells it. Right. Not that exotic. <laughs> a little bit about Marmite. What is it? We don't know. It's a yeast extract, vegetarian and vegan. Uh, it's supposed to be really salty and it's used as a spread like on toast. So in a minute here, we're going to go toast an English muffin and put it on it and then eat it. <laughs> it's really interesting, like Keep I, as, <laughs> um, here in America, we always uh, spread sweet things on toast and it, I view this as more of a savory, very, salty, savory kind of thing. It's supposed to be very salty. So I don't have any clue of what that's gonna be like, so intriguing. <laughs> so I have some notes here. So a little bit about Marmite. It was conceived in 1902 and the Marmite Food Company opened a small factory in Burton-on-Trent where it still resides today. <laughs> it took a couple of years to perfect the recipe and for the British public to warm to the spread's distinctive taste. This was also put in soldiers' rations packs during World mm -hmm. War I. It became a dietary supplement of prisoners of war camps in World War II. It's very high in vitamin B. So it does not need to be refrigerated since it was in a ration pack. I guess not. Ooh. I really don't know. And did I read somewhere that it um, is a byproduct of beer? Well, it's a byproduct of the brewing process. Huh. I don't think, I mean, I think they created it. I don't think they're right. actually, but that's how it first was huh. discovered. So we're going to go right. toast an English muffin. And get a and cup of tea. put this on this and get a cup of tea. We're going to use some, um, what is it called? English breakfast. No. English breakfast tea. And then we'll be right back. So one of the popular ways that we see that people eat it and have been talked about is spread thinly on buttered toast. So we have our thinly spread <laughs> Marmite on our English muffin. Uh, so it's, uh, go ahead. No, I was, was going to make a joke about how there seems to be a little bit more on my side. I don't know if you'll be able to see in there, but it's kind of like the consistency of real thick caramel. It doesn't smell like caramel. In fact, it doesn't really smell like much. No, it doesn't. Mine wants mm -mm. to smell it. You want to smell it, girl? No. <laughs> she seems to like it. Uh, we're not sure. So let's give it a shot. Let's see what our BBC watching rituals got us into. All right, cheers. Oh, and this is not, in, this is Earl Grey. Earl Grey. Not English breakfast. All right, here we go. Cheers. Cheers. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> my eyes are watery. Oh. Mm -mm. oh god wow that is so salty oh my god i'm hoping i put way too much on because that is terrible <laughs> whoa it's very ah it just tastes like Salt. It really just tastes like salt. Oh god. It doesn't get any better with a second. <laughs> I don't want to do a second. <laughs> Look at my eyes watering. <laughs> oh I don't even I can't even Oh wow. I can't I comprehend. I can't what's the flavor? What would you call oh. that? It's like salty dirt? <clears throat> oh. Like I can't think of what that would be good on. <clears throat> oh, I had such high hopes. Yeah. My eyes watering you guys. I'm okay. I would definitely say to get some and try it. It's delicious. Oh. Um, yeah, I'm Are, not... Is Marmite what they killed and put in it? 
I don't know how to describe that flavor. It's so weird. It's oh. kind of like, it is very like kind of earthy, salty earth. It tastes like fish poop. <laughs> I'm sure it's an acquired taste. Okay, I can't. Mm -mm. I, I can still kind of taste it in my mouth. Oh. <laughs> well. Mm. Please subscribe to the channel and like the video. <laughs> Hopefully the penguin bars go better. <laughs> um, thanks for watching. We will be uh, throwing that away. I'm gonna or take donating it. I'm it. gonna take it to work and see if I can convince some of my coworkers to eat it. Oh. All right.